Hello, Scorpio. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your Love and Life reading focused on the second half of August from the 16th through the 31st. General as always, so please do keep that in mind throughout this reading and take from it what makes sense for you. Release the rest. So let's begin starting with this deck by Fire Witch Tarot. What's brewing, spilling the beans for the second half of August. So what is brewing? What's going on for you? For Scorpio. All right, let's take a look at that. What's brewing? What issues, challenges are you dealing with at this time? We have writing it out. We have police. Okay, so some of you guys might be dealing with a situation where somebody got in trouble with the law, okay, or did something that they might have gotten arrested for, you know, whatever that might be presenting itself here. There could be a situation that maybe has been dragging itself out and you're just, as it says, writing it out, just trying to be patient. Let's grab a couple more messages. Scorpio, what's brewing? Okay. Under spiritual attack, fighting off negative energies, fighting spiritual warfare, needing to clear your energy. Okay. It's interesting. It's right next to police. So some of you guys might have felt or have dealt with a situation where you felt attacked by somebody who was in a position of authority, perhaps. That could have something to do with what it is that you're fighting for. And then we have caught up. Finding evidence, getting caught, cheating. Okay. That could be a part of your reality for some of you. And then we have private relationship. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what's coming up for the collective here. I'm going to go ahead and pull from my illuminated star tarot deck. So let's see what is coming up for you. What's going on, Scorpio? With what's brewing, you've got some challenging situations that are popping up there could have been infidelities somebody who might have gotten in trouble certainly with the law that is coming through here we do have the emperor popping up here followed by the six of cups so we might have a masculine here who's feeling really nostalgic about a connection with the feminine wanting a reunion ready to perhaps take control of the situation here some of you guys could have already had perhaps children together or a family dynamic has been affected families that have gone into separation maybe someone was incarcerated here got in trouble in that way whatever these negative energies are it's highly affected perhaps a relationship and how it's affecting your life right now, Scorpio. But, you know, I feel, especially the Divine Masculine, just perhaps trying to have some patience here, and it is right next to writing it out, knowing perhaps that this will all pass, that it's something that you guys can get through. So for those who are not together, clearly they're thinking about you, they're feeling very nostalgic. These cards make sense. Also, the Knight of Wands, passionate, fearlessness, adventurous, okay? And then we have the Five of Wands, rivalry, disagreements, and competition. And then we've got caught up right here, finding evidence, getting caught, cheating. That has something to do with this rivalry. That could have been also a part of this fighting off negative energies, needing to clear your energy, ne needing to clear your mind because of infidelities in your partnership. Because the Knight of Wands, this is somebody who is not looking for commitment. A very passionate connection, perhaps. Not afraid to go after what it is that they want, wanting those adventures with you. And so Divine Feminine's watching, thinking of your masculine they're, they're definitely thinking about you, as I've mentioned, but at the time, I don't think they were ready to offer you commitment. 
because they were too busy perhaps being in and out of your life because they were investing their time with other people. That could have been what it was that they wanted to keep private, the fact that they were cheating, basically. So since we've got the King of Wands coming through here, they might have started off as this Knight of Wands, somebody who wasn't really looking for a commitment. Maybe they've matured. Maybe they're ready to take the lead in this situation to help you guys overcome the challenges or they ultimately know that it falls on their shoulders to be able to move this situation forward possibly because i'm also getting from your divine masculine divine feminine that they just wanted to put love on hold for a minute because maybe they weren't ready for commitment they wanted to see what else was out there. You know, the whole grass is greener mentality. And maybe this is something that they've been carrying on their shoulders or even in their conscience for a very long time, recognizing that they are part of the reason why you guys are apart, why you're not together or at least going through a lot of struggles in the partnership. Maybe they've been going through a lot, certainly internally, in their heart space and what they're thinking, what they're feeling. And it's just something they've been carrying for a very long time that's been getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Maybe because they just haven't really taken the time to dig deep and deal with it. I feel they've changed. I feel they've grown. And then we've got... The three of pentacles right here. Building, teamwork, collaboration. They're ready to work with you on this partnership. You know, the masculine especially. It's, they're ready. They're ready to come in to offer their love. To offer that cup of love. But clearly you guys had a very painful breakup. Okay. The relationship fell apart because someone was caught. Clearly, someone was caught. You know, this could represent the red flags, that flashing red light, right? That's ultimately why things fell apart. But we do have the Wheel of Fortune coming in, a turning point in your relationship, so I don't think it's over. I feel it could still be a part of your destiny to reconnect with this person. And we've got a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but we do have tens popping up in this reading. We've got the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, and now we've got the Ten from the Wheel of Fortune. So there are definitely cycles that are completing here. And then you've got the Ace of Swords. So there is the possibility of a new beginning. This is clarity. This is a breakthrough in the partnership. The need to cut things and people out. And this whole drama with infidelity and cheating, that needs to be cut out. And I really feel maybe your person, they're ready to make better choices when it comes to this partnership. You could be dealing with a Gemini specifically here. They still love you. They want to be your life partner here. They're ready to make better choices. But they're also acknowledging that you have the opportunity to make choices for yourself also. And they're also coming to terms perhaps with the fact that you might not choose them. It's totally up to you. I feel the ball is in your court here, Scorpio, to be able to move this either forward or to reject an offer towards a reconciliation. I feel there's a lot of power that you hold in your hands and your person recognizes that. So let's continue. Let's see what else is going to be coming forward in this reading. I wanted to take a look at what are they hiding from you at this time? So I'm going to pull from this deck. This is the Lost in Time Oracle deck by Calico Moon. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio, for this love and life reading, what are they hiding from you right now? Wait. Okay. So maybe they're struggling with just the whole waiting process. They're struggling with having patience, perhaps. Or maybe they're letting you know here that they're willing to wait until you perhaps are 
ready to make a decision about the partnership. We do have the full moon's energy coming through here. Peak power illumination. So the full moon, you know, it's a time for harvest. It's when wishes have the best capability of manifesting. So what they're hiding from you is they're really hoping that through this illumination that you're able to see that they definitely still want to be a part of your life. We do have the month of June coming through here. So maybe your person has a June birthday or something significant could have happened in June for the two of you. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer here. But it is telling us here that there's hope that perhaps a wish can still manifest. But it might take some time, which is why there's this need to wait. So what they're hiding from you, I feel, Scorpio, is that they're they're really hoping to still manifest this connection. We've got the eclipse destiny. They still see you as a part of their destiny, that you guys are a destined partnership, a destined connection. So let's grab some words to go along with that. I'm going to pull from In the Shadows Oracle Cards. This is by All Things Intuitive. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Scorpio, for this Love and Life reading. All right, so what are they hiding from you? Look at this. I wish you would come back. Absolutely, that's what they're wishing for. You know, like I was mentioning with that full moon's energy, it's a perfect time to be able to manifest a wish, and they want that. They want that reunion. What else, please, for Scorpio? I understand you better now. And what I'm getting here when it comes to your person, Scorpio, the reason why they have a better understanding of you is because they have a better understanding of who they are. That's just what I'm getting from that. I don't need your approval, okay? So take, take that however way that applies in your situation here. Some of these messages could certainly be coming from you to your person and what you'd like to say to them. You know, you could have even said these words to them. It's like, I don't need your approval to be able to move forward in my life or to do whatever it is that I want. So let's go ahead and clarify these. I'm going to go ahead and pull from my Tabby Tarot teacher deck here. Let's grab some messages here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio, for this love and life reading. What are they hiding from you? Is that they're still really wishing for you to come back. Two of Pentacles. So perhaps they recognize that they were juggling multiple people, multiple priorities. They need to be able to make better use of their time. Okay. Maybe they want to take action to reach out. But as you can clearly see, we've got a card here that says wait. Seven of Cups. Opportunities. Choices. Lots of options. That was a part of the issue before that they perhaps did not make the right choices. You both have choices in your life. You both have opportunities. It's up to the both of you what it is that you choose to do with the connection. But what they're really hoping for here is for you guys to at least be on the same page because they want to be able to manifest this back into union. We've got the King of Wands. We've got the Four of Wands. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. So 
didn't we already get let me just check because we ended up getting a bunch of messages here yep that's the second time that the king of wands is popping up for some of you your divine masculine could be a fire sign here leo aries sagittarius for some of you this person that you feel is a destined connection that you guys were meant to perhaps connect in this lifetime could be your twin flame we've got references to reunions that can happen and the ace of pentacles is about abundance and manifestation new beginnings a solid offer of commitment a solid offer of stability and that's what they're hiding from you at this point in time perhaps because they are picking up from you maybe that you're not quite ready to hear from them or because of how things played out in the connection they want a reunion they want that reunion they want to be a part of your life they want that wish to manifest Scorpio but they're also acknowledging that they are a part of the reason why things fell apart why you had to perhaps sever ties with this individual why things failed in the partnership okay so let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper i want to take a look at their deepest thoughts and fantasies when it comes to you all right so let's start with that their deepest thoughts i'm gonna go ahead and pull from this deck by bridget of divine essentials this is called love journey so what are their deepest thoughts when it comes to you scorpio for this love and life reading second half of august their deepest thoughts my love will rise through coldest of times okay so maybe you could be giving them a cold shoulder right now but they're telling you here that they're not giving up that their love will rise above all of the challenges and obstacles that you guys have had to face i'm ready to turn the page and write the next chapter together are you on the same page scorpio are you even ready and willing to do that they're telling you here i'm miserable without you and they want to be yours forever okay that is a part of their deepest thoughts when it comes to you i also wanted to take a look at their deepest fantasies when it comes to you now this particular deck the sugar and spice oracle it does contain profanity and some sexual innuendos if this is something that makes you uncomfortable or you don't want to hear this part you're more than welcome to fast forward all right so let's take a look at that hold on one second here let's take a look and see what are their deepest fantasies when it comes to you they want to be yours forever they're really miserable without you we have blueberries coming in you know I'm good for your heart. You've tried to push me away, but sooner or later, you will realize you need me. I am your weakness. I am your strength. Stop denying it. You know you love me. Okay, so this could be your person being definitely a little bit maybe forceful with how they're trying to communicate this to you because they really want you to know and understand that they still love you. They want to be a part of your life forever. They're absolutely miserable without you. They're ready to move forward. Maybe they're picking up off of your energy that you still love them too. What else, please, for Scorpio? We have curry. Okay. So this says, I want to spice up your life with my one-of-a-kind vibrant personality let me be the one to brighten that beautiful smile to add excitement and an intense flavor to your days and nights one taste of me and you'll want more okay blueberries and curry could also be favorite flavors for some of you 
and maybe that's how you feel that they really do spice up your life they clearly are indicating here that they still desire you and want you we also have pancakes coming in so this is for air signs here libra aquarius gemini that could be your person here or you could have air in your chart so it does say, I love how simple and uncomplicated our love is. Our conversations are pretty light, nothing too heavy. I can still taste your sweet kisses. You know how to tantalize and satisfy me without a single word. You're sheer perfection and I can't get enough of you. That's how they see you. Sheer perfection. Okay, something about the kisses and certainly the intimate moments. The intensity and the connection, certainly physically. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some additional guidance here. This time I'm going to pull from the Pining Rose Tarot. This is another deck by Calico Moon. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Scorpio, for this love and life reading. So their deepest thoughts and fantasies about you they still want you that's for sure they desire you still i don't think that's ever gone away really three of wands they they really are ready to focus on the future they're ready to look ahead just move on from the past because obviously they can't change that it is what it is you know so if you are able to perhaps find forgiveness in your heart space for them they're ready to create progress and growth in this partnership. And they totally understand the challenges that are presenting itself here and that they contributed to why things are playing out the way, the way that they are and why the past is what it was, you know? Because the Seven of Wands is competition. There were other people here that were a part of this equation. That was a part of the problem. But as you can see here, they really are ready to release that past baggage. They're ready to transition out of that. There's unfinished business here between the two of you. So Six of Swords, they're ready to move on. They're ready to move on and really commit to this partnership. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus as well. They really are ready ready to commit they see you as somebody that they still love and care for that you guys are still meant to be so part of the offer that they want to bring towards you possibly could be long-term commitment or even marriage you know we already know about the competition and the conflict and infidelities and the partnership okay loneliness depression regret failure pessimism with the five of cups that could have certainly been a part of your journey here and what you've been through. They're acknowledging all of these things, but they're telling you here that it affected them as well. That maybe they've been feeling really lonely without you. We already see they're miserable without you. And more acknowledgement of the infidelities and things that they were hiding from you, secrets, affairs. But this is truly what they're wanting to bring in your direction, which is that Ten of Cups. Marriage, family, hopes, dreams, love, contentment. To share a home, to share a life. Pure happiness in the connection. They definitely want that happy ending with you. You guys already had a very painful breakup, but they want to be able to really heal what's broken between the two of you. They want to make amends. They want to make you happy. They want to be able to fulfill your wishes for your dream to come true when it comes to love and this connection. They want that forever with you. Okay, so let's move on and see what else needs to come through here for you and this person. So no doubt you guys have been through some challenges, but they... They want to be able to definitely make amends. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and start with this deck. This is my Voices deck focused on the Divine Masculine. So let's grab some messages here. I want to take a look at what they've learned. So what has the Masculine learned on this journey? Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Scorpio. What has the Masculine learned? Certainly when it comes to the Feminine. I want you back more than you will ever know. I'm just torn as to how to make it all happen. Yeah, exactly right. That is already coming through in this reading. I don't want to be second in line for your heart. Okay, so if, for example, Divine Feminines, they're as a result of the competition reference and the rivalry that has popped up in this reading, especially if you're torn between a particular masculine and somebody else, they're telling you here they don't want to be second in line. They don't want to be secondary in your heart or in your life. And then we've got this message too. All I need to move on is for you to tell me that you forgive me for hurting you. Okay, so we've got all sorts of scenarios that are popping up here, but in this particular message, clearly... A masculine is recognizing that in order for them to even transition out of the past and to move on is they need forgiveness from the feminine. And lastly, why didn't I realize what I had when you were in my life? Okay, so some regret here when it comes to the masculine here. So let's go ahead and grab some messages on behalf of the feminine. So I'm going to use the Voices 2 deck. Divine Feminine Messages. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Scorpio for this Love and Life reading. Second half of August. Divine Feminine, what have you learned? What have you learned on your journey? Our chemistry is fiery hot. Desire is lit. Don't stand too close or I'll combust. I mean, obviously, the chemistry, the sexual chemistry, the desire, it's still here. Look at this. And this could have certainly been a part of the reality for some of you. It sure hurts knowing that you're with someone else. Okay? So there could have been infidelities on both sides here. We can't keep ignoring these feelings between us we're bound to lose the fight because it's a very intense connection between the masculine and the feminine. Despite the drama, despite whatever has happened in the partnership, there are these lingering feelings still between the two of you. I always thought I knew what this whole concept of falling in love felt like until I met you. So there's this one particular connection for both of you, perhaps, that just stands out above the rest. It stands out more than anything. And look at the bottom card for the feminines. Can we try again? So divine feminines, for those of you that relate to that, you're willing to give this another chance. Okay? So those are the messages as to what it is that the masculine and the feminine have learned on this journey. So take from that what makes sense for you. All right, so let's wrap it up with some musical messages here. I'm going to go ahead and grab from both of my Heart Songs decks. So I'm going to use my Heart Songs Volume 1 and Heart Songs of the 90s. So if you're not familiar with the song, see if you resonate with the lyrics here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Scorpio, for this Love and Life reading for the second half of August. There are two songs here. Everything I Need from Aquaman by Skylar Gray and Is This Love by Whitesnake. Both pretty awesome songs. So the lyrics from Everything I Need born on the wrong side of the ocean with all the tides against you you never thought you'd be much good for anyone but that's so far from the truth 
I know there's pain in your heart and you're covered in scars. Wish you could see what I do because baby, everything you are is everything I need. You're everything to me. Okay. And then we've got, is this love by white snake? I can't stop the feeling I've been this way before, but with you, I've found the key to open any door. I can feel my love for you growing stronger day by day, and I can't wait to see you again so I can hold you in my arms. Okay, so they definitely want to reunite. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a couple more songs from the Heart Songs of the 90s to wrap things up here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio. Let's grab a couple more here. I don't have the heart by James Ingram. And then we have November Rain by Guns N' Roses. Okay, so... Both of these songs, really, it's about relationships that have come to an end and possibly very painful endings. So this song right here says your face is beaming. You say it's because you're dreaming of how good it's going to be. You say you've been around and now you finally found everything you wanted and needed in me. I don't have the heart to hurt you. It's the last thing I want to do. But I don't have the heart to love you not the way you want me to. Okay. So this could have certainly contributed to why things fell apart because you guys just were not on the same page. One person who was madly, deeply in love and then the other one was just being a little bit more promiscuous and wanting to see what else was out there that contributed to perhaps a tower moment. And then we've got November rain. When I look into your eyes, I can see a love restrained. But darling, when I hold, when I hold you, don't you know I feel the same? Nothing lasts forever, and we both know hearts can change. Okay, so definitely bringing up some triggers for some of you and the challenging parts of the connection. Okay, so take whatever part of those songs and lyrics are applied to your situation. I feel there's a possibility towards reunions and healing here, but clearly what's indicated and what we've seen in this reading is it's been very challenging that there have been some particular scenarios where you guys have been torn apart by outside influences. And if you guys can take the time to actually heal from that, maybe you'll find that the opportunity to reconnect is possible. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this one. And if you are interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.